70 and so bad. I mean, my job for a year, I want to celebrate one. And she'll born in more minutes, so shapra pra. And I want you. Beautiful, gorgeous mommy. Daddy, thank you so much. And you got more people here. But you want to really find you like you. But you know what? Mommy, take it. Mommy, take it. Thank you so much, everybody. Mommy, of your Nipah Jesu Mwafishiri. She was born into a very strong Catholic uh, background. So at this point, I'm going to call my uncle all the way from uh, Indiana. Where is Dr. Jimmy? That's mommy's sibling. The uncle with a swag pillar. Ewo pillar yet. All the men with pillar here today. Who else has pillar like that? You are not my immediate brother, who you are. This is the way he tells his own. So, uncle, you know, when I saw you step out from the car, he said, More than you take care. But, if you like him, that's all. If you didn't hear him, you're dark. For the love of our own, what do you want to do? You're going to be like, You're going to be like, You're going to be like, Brother, I'm coming, you want. We appreciate you and your beautiful wife and your children. You'll be here since Wednesday to celebrate with your sister. And she will be the sir. And she will, I will give you the microphone for a short prayer. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we are here today. We have to now let your presence here today. We know you will bless us today. People that have come from afar within the city of Houston, in the state of Texas, and as of Texas outside the country. You brought us here today to fellowship in your name. Thank you, Jesus. We bless the celebrant today that your blessings from heaven will continue to be around and shine our heart. We pray that your blessings will continue to be with us. Bless today, O Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. It's a very funny and so on. Thank you so much. Uh, Eshi, daddy, that's it now. I'm coming to you, daddy. You're not going to execute me today. You can be sure of that. Uh, mommy and daddy want me to tell everyone that they appreciate your coming. Every single person that have taken their time out of the busy schedule to be here. People have flown from Nigeria, from Indiana, from Dallas, from Chicago, from everywhere. We are very diverse here also. Thank you so much for coming. Now, I have to recognize some people that are very, very important. Kusi Kwato Danto Ki Ei Yondaba Kaji Uwoma Wani Ni Jwa Mpe Yewa Ki Ape Ki Awoma Nope I want to thank all mommy's children and family for putting this together. Let for mommy off and hello you Mr. Osaki, hello Joko saying, hello Jerabi Q. That's just good for her. But the children they said no. Uh, please can I have everybody here? Uh, Dr. Otsuba Andre Osage, my uh, beautiful Olori, we need you here. Please Shola Osage. Where's my brother Patrick? And Shema, please, he wants you to come. These are mommies and children. Where is my beautiful sister Deborah? DJ, I want to do some. I got to do some. It's not a joke to put all this together. Grandkids, come on, come on. We have lovely grandchildren here also. Can I have Kelly Sola, Kesley, Jonathan, Joshua, David, Nicole? Daniel, oh God, my dear God. These are the leaders of tomorrow. They, they, they are pilots, they are engineers, they are doctors. Why not the president? They call them out there now. So, everybody, if you want to walk, I thank all of you for putting all this together. DJ, can I have a Jesse King? You know that's my son. When the mommy, okay, you don't like you, mommy. Mommy, oh. Let me 
to university. Our morning, we celebrate you today, Dr. Lucy Minino, Abigail Osewege. We salute you. We will do better. We will do better. That's awesome. Mommy, we love you. I really need to do something very hard with my life. Number one, when you talk about the mobile clinic, she be an uncle in the old health in this thing. That's the old health in the Dubai. So I can probably stand around my uh, American friends and just talk about it. It be our uh, not as it be rare as far as this it is in Nigeria. Why is that? I need to do something better with my life. More than ten people have gone through university through you. Uh, we will go ahead and uh, do the tributes. The first person that I'm going to call to come and talk about mommy, talo to mommy to obashe yati daddy. So I will give the microphone to you for a little things about mommy. Uh, please let's make it brief, sir. Welcome everybody. I will try not to waste your time. I'm not. A talker. Ah, come on. Anyway, they they they, they know better. Once you pump me up, I can go on on and on and on. But I'll try to cut it short. I'm going to start from the present to the time most people here do not know. How just look around, look at the children, look at the grandchildren, look at the in-laws. What other tribute do you want? You can see that the good Lord has been in our life throughout. We're from a Christian family. Uh, when I say Christian family, you will not understand what I'm trying to tell you. Most of you go to church on Sundays. That's good for you. We were in church every day. Oh. Every day, 24-7. We live in church compound. Church every day, 6 to 9. Or oh, as the spirit directed at that time. Sometimes we go to 11. Then at 12 a.m., the show will start again. Church warriors. And they start praying. Not praying for themselves. So these are uh, family people now. They will be there praying for that people right there. That's how we grow up. If you want to say something about somebody, you go, oh, that person is good. He's a good person. But if you do not support what you say with facts, you are just lying. So I'm going to give you some facts. The woman you see, the celebrant you see here today, she's a woman of God. Oh. She founded her own church because of the background that she had. She's a very compassionate person. And I will give you a good example. Me, when I was a little boy, I loved going to the cinema, so, especially the Indian movies. Oh, yeah, the Yebak, okay. This one, I love you, I go, go. There was a, an incident. They took off my pants and gave me 24 strokes. Big egg bag on, the real uh, no, yeah, they call it child abuse now. In those days, it wasn't child abuse now. They were putting us straight. The best way they could. I got the lashes, all my backs. You could see the marks. Well, they give me good legs that day. Then she started crying. That's how compassionate she, she was. She pulled me into her room and started rubbing. Electric bam, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, double, do, double whammy, another, another punishment right there. But to her, she was straight of those marks. If you needed something at that time, you just have to talk to her, and she'll be there for you. And now, from that time, all to the present, she does the same thing. If today is not about me, it's about her. All right? If you do not believe that there's a God, 
that he sees you, that he does wonders, that whatever predicaments you are right now, that the good Lord could take you out of it. Please, trust me. If you do not trust me here and now, I am sorry I cannot help you. But the good Lord can help you. These are personal things. But the personal things not about me, about her. Talk to her later. She will give you a hope. I know the MC is ready to take the mile. But let me tell you to let you know the kind of person you are here today. For being here today, you are blessed though. And that blessings will get on with you. Talk to her later. She will give your own personal experiences to let you know. And that's the way things are. Nobody is good except our God. Except our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But I will tell you today, she's a nice person. And she still has uh, all those attributes in her. May God bless her. Many happy returns. And may God bless you all. Thank you. Atsuba Seke, are you ready for me, sir? Ebami full of Beni Yilate War. For all he's doing. And brother, you're looking sharp. Thank you very much, sir. You're an awesome guy. Thank you very much, ma'am. Good evening, everybody. I don't even know where to start to talk about my mother. She is just an amazing, such an amazing woman. I remember growing up when my mom came back from Germany, I was still young, but I remember when she had the clinic, Tolulokwe Clinic in Ekeja. And most of the people that will come to the clinic, they didn't even have the money to buy the card. You know, in Nigeria, when you go to a clinic, the first thing you do is they'll tell you to buy a card. They wouldn't even have the money to buy the car, talk less of have the money to pay for medication or... And she would use her own money. And she would go and sometimes take some of the things on credit to treat other people. I remember when I was in high school, she started something called the mobile clinic. Yes, sir. She said, there are many people out there that are suffering. I was a young boy. She said, there are many people that are dying of hypertension, that are dying of diabetes. And then out of the blue, just out of nowhere, she said she wanted to start a mobile clinic. And she got a couple of nurses, some of our nurses with her. She will use her own money to go and buy medication at the Bute Meta. She will use her money to go and buy medication, put it in a bag with her nurses, and they will start going from market to market. One day I went with her. I couldn't believe what she was doing. She will be going from market to market, treating people for free and giving them medication for free. All of those things I remember. She's a very, very selfless woman. It's not about her. Even up till now, when I came to school in the US, I had to work and I had to pay for my own school. But I cannot tell you, somebody said at last count, my mother had sponsored about 10 children from elementary school. I'm thinking there was no time that there was nobody living at our house that she was not raising other people's children, that she had sponsored from elementary school all the way to university, other people's children. And it could, I could go on and on and on, but it just goes to speak to the kind of a person she is. Even now that she relocated to the US, the minute you give her money, she's already calling Nigeria to ask for somebody if they need to pay for their school fees. And I'm asking that all of your children are grown. They are not asking you for money, but the little you have, you are still sending it to Nigeria to help people. Mommy, that is just the kind of a person that you are. 
to me you are an angel because people that do this kind of stuff are not just it's not normal for you and and a lot of people that don't know how will probably don't know what i'm talking about but for those of us that are close to you that have watched you all our lives and see how you treat other people i know to me you're an angel and may god continue to bless you you will continue to live long because i still need you you will continue to live long you are 70 we will celebrate 80. It feels like it was just yesterday when we were celebrating your 60th birthday. Amen. I remember when you turned 40 and you had this shine shine outfit. <laughs> if you don't know my mom, she likes bling bling and shine shine. Those of you that know my mom, you know that you cannot see her without the bling bling. The, what you see right now is just a little bit of it. It's just a little bit. Yes, I remember growing up, my mom would take a shower at night and put on her makeup and go to bed. I am not kidding. She would put on her makeup and put perfume on and then go to bed. It's all about her shine shine. That's what makes her happy. I have come to accept it. I have come to accept it. But that's what makes her happy. So it was just like yesterday you celebrated your 40, I remember, in Ikeja. And you, you did 50, I wasn't there, but 60 we did here for you. 70 now you're doing. We will start planning your 80. Yeah. We will be here to celebrate your 90 and your 100. Yeah. I love you very, very much from the bottom of my heart. You are a sweet mother. You gave us a beautiful upbringing. And you and my dad instilled some great values in us. I remember when I came here, I said, until I finish my PhD, I don't think I'm done with my education. And it's because we looked up to you and you expected nothing less. Even though you were not here, but the value that you instilled in us as a child remained with us even though we were thousands of miles away. So thank you very much. Thank you for all of the hard work that you did in raising us. We appreciate you very much. Happy birthday from the bottom of my heart. We love you very much. Thank you. I just must, I must say this. Because of the political atmosphere in the United States today, I'm going to relate it to the celebrants sitting down over there. Do you remember when you were working with Strabag, construction company in Nigeria? She was the medical officer with that company, a German company. And they were refusing to treat Nigerians. Nigerians. Black people, they will not treat them. They were only treating only the white people there, only Germans. She took it upon herself to call the police, the CID. They investigated and put a stop to it to make sure all the people working there were well treated. It just came to mind. I must say it. That's the kind of person that she is. And we thank God. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. I see tears of joy coming from your eyes. Ah, eh, she must have jammed and be like, I'm a bit about so many. But, eh, my son, mommy. Mommy, we just love you. We love you so much. The Lord has done so much for you. I want to cut it. She for more, more, more. Oh, no, no, she just can't, you know, what about you? You went through so much medically. Even when medicine think it's not possible, but the Lord did it. And look at your children. They said, we mothers, we shouldn't do it just because of ourselves. It's because of our children and our grandchildren. Because So you wonder why mommy's kids are so successful. It's because of who you are. We love you so much, ma. Uh, Uncle Patrick, can I have you? Thank you, mommy. Kini Mosoche and Boy Shema, I love you, ma. Oti Mawa Lara. I will call mommy, God. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I want to thank God Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, the I am that I am. The omnipatient, omnipresent, omnisilent for creating this day, 
for making it possible for my mom to live for 70 years. My mom, she is God-fearing. She is a beautiful woman. Is she not beautiful? Yes. Mommy, you are beautiful. To be your lonely shin shako. To be your lonely shin shako. To be your lonely shin shako. Baba wale yi. To be no le shin shako. To be no le shin shako. Thank you all. My mom, she's also a great woman. And I want you all to join me to sing this song for my mom. Mommy, you are great, you are great, you are great, you are great. Everything about you is great. Thank you all. My mom, she is my mentor. One thing I take from my mom is her faith and her belief in life. In the midst of difficulties, my mom will stand on her feet and fight the situation. And this is true talk. She will be like, Meaning in English, do you believe in God? If you believe in God, all things are possible. She's a strong believer. As a matter of fact, in one of our cars those days, on the license plate number, it was clearly and boldly written on it, with God, all things are possible. My mom, she will leave the, the luxury of her own comfort. She will discomfort herself and make other people comfortable. That's just who she is. My mom, she's... Also someone that loved to count her bad day ahead of time. I can remember 10 years ago when she celebrated 60 years. The day after, anyone that she come across, she will let the person know that I will be 70, I will be 70, I will be 70. That's just her. And I thank God for making her to live to see 70 today. God promised us 70 years on earth. And she has lived to see that day today. Congratulations, mommy. I have a special gift for you, mommy. And the gift is to promote you from mommy to mama. <laughs> Congratulations, mommy. <laughs> Lastly, God has blessed you with everything. All I can pray for is for long life, for God to let you live long, to enjoy all what he has blessed you with. Happy birthday to you, mommy. I love you so much. I love you dearly. God bless you, and God bless your new age. Thank you. Give me a round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Deborah, I know you are busy. It's your time. Please, uh, let's do this before I call the other people. Good evening, everyone. Um, first, I would like to give thanks to God, the owner of today, the maker of heaven and earth, for his blessing over our family, for blessing us with mommy, for letting her see today. I watched my mother dance into this all. She wasn't carried. She was not wheeled. You know, I'm not taking it for granted. And I'm so grateful to God for giving us this opportunity to celebrate our mother today. So that being said, we fondly say something at our house that a big bear in Lonia. So that's my mom. That's my mom. You know, your guys will say big bin fa. So we know each other. We love each other. We understand each other. So, um, I mean, what can I say? My if mom you know my is extremely, extremely positive. Nothing, nothing will shake her. Nothing will put her down. 
you know, like it's always glass half full, never, never glass half empty. She is constantly positive. You know, even when in the darkest moments, when life throws its curves ball and I go to my mom and she goes, ah, you know, she, she will motivate you to the point that you will feel like you can literally conquer the world. Like you can do anything. She, she's that great. She's my support system. She is my, she's my prayer warrior. I don't know where I will be today without my mom. Literally, I do not know where I will be today without my mom. I love you so much from the bottom of my heart. See, I listened to my mom tell the story of how she prayed to God um, to give her a daughter after she had um, her, her sons. And when she tells the story, she says it with so much joy and gladness that she's happy to God that um, God sent me her way. But mommy, I'm the lucky one. I'm lucky to have you as a mother. I'm lucky to have you as my prayer warrior. I'm lucky. Thank you for everything. Thank you so much, mommy. Me le dupe lo wanito. But the Lord will continue to bless you. It will continue to uplift you. We're not going to cry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I love you. Ah, We're not going to cry. We're going to dance. We're going to rejoice. And we'll do this again ten, in 10 years. Okay? Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you so much. Please, let's do better. Let's do better. Thank you so much. Mubayi, your mommy. Hello, your mommy. At this time, I'm going to call my beautiful sister, Olu Shola Sage, to please get the microphone for mommy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm here to celebrate with my mother today. Um, even though I'm mommy's daughter-in-law, she's never made me feel like a daughter-in-law. Um, I remember when I met her 15 years ago, and even still, till this morning, she said, Shala, you know, you've always been my daughter. You're one of my daughters. You know, and I always want you to remember me that way. So, mommy, today, I thank God for your life. I thank God for everything that you've done for me. You know, when I think about mommy, I think about the virtuous woman in Proverbs 31. That describes mommy. Mommy, I just want to thank you for accepting me, for taking care of me. Thank you for raising a son that I can call my husband. And thank you for just taking care of me even when I'm far away from my family. Can we give Shola a round of applause? Yes, I was just going to call you, Otsuba. I was just going to call you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, Shola. I mean, uh, when you have a mother-in-law that have become your mother, that is a blessing. It is things like this that I try to copy. And I hope that uh, my daughters-in-law feel like that about me too. Thank you. Chioma, where are you, please? Good evening, everybody. I thank God so much uh, for today. As you heard my name, I'm Ibo. And uh, I came into this family and I was very much accepted and welcomed. I don't want to take our time. But one thing I've learned from mommy and the strongest thing I can hold on to, and I know because I see it in her life, live. This woman you see is a woman of faith. This woman is a woman that, if you're a Muslim, 
she will turn you to be a Christian or to be the, the, the greatest Muslim you can see. Mommy is my prayer warrior. I can remember one day, around 1 a.m., she sent me a message. She normally sends messages around that time. That's when she finished her midnight prayers. Um, and I know she thought everybody was asleep, of course. So she sent the message and I replied. She was like, uh -uh, what are you still doing at this point? I said, Mama, it's my old age school now. It's my school. I have to study. She said, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you that God has answered your prayer that just go on. Nothing is happening. At that point, I was tired. I wanted to sleep. After that, I'm like, oh, no, my name is in God's ear at, at this point. Let me just go on and read. That whatever I read, I know God is it's going to register in my brain. This example, okay, is how mommy will encourage you in your faith. Even if you're a Christian, you ask yourself, after talking to this woman, you will ask yourself, am I really a Christian? Mommy is like a magician. Mommy won't have any money in her pocket, but if anything is coming up, it's, we will do it. We will do it. And she will start planning. And the next minute, you wouldn't know where the money will come from. I'm telling you. You will think it's Juju. And I'm sure many people will think she's using Juju. I'm saying it here. Yes. But it's fake. And that's one thing I've copied and I know I'll hold on to. For me and the family and the children. That is what we emulate, mommy. And I know that is the greatest. Another thing. She wants me to do Shakara because I don't know how to do Shakara. So she's the one that supplies my earring and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to get on to that. So I thank God for this woman you see here. Mommy, thank you very much. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you very much, Irma. Can we have all the grandkids? We're running out of time. So you all stand right here according to your go go rope. Stand here according to your gogoro with gogoro next. Put your filler down. I but die about me. I'm not talking blab. See, I'm not talking booba. Please let me talk in the rope because video is taking it and this is going to Nigeria. By the way, good evening. I'm um, the first grandchild. I'm Kimi Sola Osage. I'm the first grandchild. Um, I just want to say my grandma is just the sweetest lady I ever met. I love my grandma so much. And I'm just really grateful to God that I'm blessed with a grandma like her. Um, happy birthday, grandma. Thank you, grandma. I'm Kelsey Osagi. Um, uh, thank you, grandma, for everything. <laughs> grandma, um, happy birthday. I am Joshua Iobose Kasamabi Osamenge. I love my grandma because ever since I've been on this earth, she's been there to take care of me. She's been there for all my birthdays, even though she couldn't make, even though she had um, problems. I love my grandma a lot. <laughs> Happy birthday. My name is Jonathan Osagi. Um, I love my grandma because she is so caring. When I'm sad, she's sad. When I'm happy, she's happy. That's what I love about her. Happy birthday, Grandma. I'm Nicole Osemenge. Um, I love my grandma because when I go to her house sometimes, she'll take care of me. <laughs> and all of us, she'll feed us food. She'll ask if we are okay. If we are sad, she'll try to cheer us up. If we are crying, she'll still cheer us up. And that's why I love my grandma, because she cares for everybody. Thank you. <laughs> I, am da I am Daniel Osemwange, and I just want to thank God for sending us with, with grandma. I, I just want to thank you for blessing us and guiding us with her. And I just want to say happy 70th birthday. Good 
evening, everybody. I'm, I'm David Osagi. Um, um, what I want to say about my grandma is that she's very caring and loving. She always puts people before herself, and not a lot of people do that. So, happy birthday. Can we give this lovely grandkids a round of applause? When it's your time for graduations, for your weddings, your grandma will be present. Hail and heavy, new Jesu. Amen. You can go and sit down. Before I move to the next item, cutting of the cake, which will be the last, I would like to give the microphone to my big mommy, Elijah Kosoko. Thank you, mommy. Mommy, I'm going to show you the show. My lovely sister, Abigail Oluwatumini, Mama La Nu, Mama La Gu, Anupo, 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 Mobile Clinic. Her mobile clinic was a donation. Clinic. She donated it to the whole people of Ikeja and Lagos. I did. I didn't know why she had the clinic without making money. She had the latest bed there, well equipped. The latest equipment a doctor can have in, in her clinic or his clinic. She had it. Superb. This is a woman, a doctor that she, she will treat a patient and prescribe medicine. And at the end of the day, if they say, no, I can't afford these uh, injections to buy. I can't buy this drug. She will use her money. She will equip the, the hospital with some medicine just to give away. And she, if she hasn't had it in the hospital, she will go to the chemist, send it, you know, the nurses to go and get it and give it to those people. They will sleep there one week, three weeks, a week, without charging them. She will charge, but when they, oh, how can I be able to pay all this money? Okay, okay, okay. You can go. This is Allah, no woman. In a church, Hmm, Adonai Church. That Adonai Church is a church of worshiping God in her house. But all the members, all the members, the children of the members, she feed them. It's the only house I see where people cook three times a day. She will cook three times a day. The Bokoto, the Shaki. Our body, Ikeno, separate. Eja tutu panla, Efo, separate. Can you hear me? Edi, oh yeah. You know that Agege market? That's how we used to go there. We can go there and say, day whenever I go to visit her or spend weekend with her. All the minutes is Oja, Oja, Oja. She doesn't take penny from anybody. I don't know how she survived. She sell a land. She sell. She will buy land. She will buy a house and resell. When she resell, they won't pay those people who purchase it from her. At the end of the day, whoa, well, no, whoa, well, they can't afford it. Let me leave it for them. The balance they can go with it. This is the woman. God bless you. Bless you always. The father. Yes. Father of the house, Papa. Thank you. Ekwagbamola. 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 Thank you, Daddy. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. At the driver, at our model. But we are not on one lolly. We want to get one Love you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, before I give the microphone to Daddy to wrap it up, I'm going to call Adorable. She has only one minute. <laughs> she really begged me that she want to be here. 
I don't need to put her in the blast. She just had a baby four days ago. Four days ago, C-section. So she said, she's not on the list. She said, Auntie, please let me speak. So that's why I'm indulging her. And I want her to go and sit down. And I want you to go home to your baby. Mommy must be special to her. Good, good afternoon, everybody. I'm short of words. I don't really know what to say. I don't really know what to say. Grandma, I'm so grateful. I don't know how to thank you. On Thursday morning, on around 6 a.m. On Thursday morning, around 6 a.m. I was to make the doctor by 7.30 a.m. in the morning. As early as 6 a.m., Grandma is already awake, waiting to take me to the hospital. I was like, Grandma, how can you take me to the hospital and be inside the theater with me? She said, no, my daughter, I'm going to do it. I said, no, Grandma, please don't do that. Only for my greatest surprise, Dad came out. Dad said, adorable, let's go. God is with you. This man stood for me. Daddy, I'm so grateful. The day they were asking what is happening, I said, he is my father. He stood by me until the baby is out. I don't know how to thank you. This is just two days of my delivery. I promise them I'm going to be here. Grandma, God bless you. You will live long. Daddy, God bless you too. For having me as your daughter too. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ma. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Adorable. God bless you and your baby. Please go and sit down and uh, don't let it be too long before you go home. I'm a mommy in here. Thank you. Uh, save the best for the last. That's why I'm giving the microphone to Daddy. You know, we all talk about mommy being a doctor. That is an engineer, too. Can we get a round of applause for that? Daddy, over to you, sir. Praise the Lord. My, my, my wife, as I would say, is the greatest gift. God has given me my life. Praise God. You see, when he, if a father uses the right hand to pass the child, he uses also the left one to, to draw the child back. Praise God. That is the greatest gift. That is why I consider it the greatest gift in my life. Because my existence on this planet at this very minute, I let me were assured, very, very well be she shared. It, I couldn't have been on this earth again if it wearing her around me. And I know all these things we see on this planet earth uh, do not just start on this planet, they start from heaven. And why do I say that? It takes you, or it takes one, some sacrifice for you to be able to do, get that gift from God. And that sacrifice is what God accepted or has made me the way he made me. Because that is what qualified me to marry this special woman. Praise God. Because it's not, she, she's, she's not, she's uncommon. In all qualities of life, she's uncommon. And that is why I said my, our marriage is not, is not on, is not by, from man. Rather, it's from what? It's from above. And this happened so that peop people could learn lesson. 
that whatever you think you are in this planet Earth, or whatever you think you've achieved it's not your own making it's just the making of god because that is how god wants it to be and that is why we are together today since i married her uh, i've been uh, i have not had one minute of sorrow right from our youth age ages in the in, 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 in Germany, people have always appreciated her around me. And many have even tried to see if they could come in between. But I used to tell them, look, this is not a question. There is no gambling about it. This is a God-given wife. No matter what angle you come, you will fail. <laughs> Praise God. And that is why we are still together today. She is a mother of the nation. She is a mother what? of the nation. As I said, in every quality she has, she is blessed with it. She is beautiful. She is radiant. She is sympathetic. She is jovial. She is, she is all in all, a, a, all, all in all a woman of God could have. And that is what she is blessed with. Praise God on it so i'm joining every other one present today and i'm thanking you people i'm standing here as a co-celebrant of this very occasion to thank everyone who came today far and near that the mighty lord that you serve the good god that brought you here we take all of you back home safely in jesus name Come here, round of applause. You can sit down, mommy. It's your day. You can sit if you want to sit. Yes, ma'am. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, I'm overwhelmed. I just don't know what to say. I'm going to speak English. I'm going to speak Yoruba, my mother's language. I'm going to speak Edo, my husband's language. I'm going to speak German, where I studied and I lived for so many years. And I'm also going to speak American language, where I'm now living. I first thank God Almighty for sparing my life to witness today. I thank everybody present here, good children of God. All of us are children of God. I thank everybody present here. My greatest thank goes to God. If not for God, I wouldn't be here today. Few months ago, I underwent a heavy surgery that lasted 10 good hours. I had spinal surgery. God Almighty was with me during the time that I was in the theater. God Almighty was with my family that supported me. My husband and my children, the agony they all went through when I was in the theater for a good 10 hours. Here I am today thanking God. I went through a lot in life, especially with health issues. But God has been there with me. I thank Almighty Father the omnipotent, the omnipresent, the omniscient God. He has done it for me. And he's still doing it. I thank my brother, Dr. Oluwa Fola Jimmy Adejoku, and his beautiful family, the greatest surgeon in the whole universe, Dr. June Adejoku, Pulado Adejoku, my brother, you've been there 
Since I was 10 years in this world, you've been there with me. We went through a lot. When I had a topic surgery that I bled internally for three days, I was dying. You were there. By then, you were the head boy at Methodist Boys High School. You would bring your Bible, put it on my head. You, you were telling God that this, my sister, must not die. And this is your sister for you today. Amen. When I had the 10-hour surgery, you didn't even tell me that you would be coming. You came again with your family. The, 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 the bell rang. Behold who was there. My brother and the whole family. Baba me. And you've been with me here since Wednesday. You left your work. Your wife left hers. The children left school. All of you, uh, you, you are here. I thank you. Eshe, thank you so much. <sighs> my husband, my brother, my friend, my daddy, we've been together for the past 47 years. 47 years. We've been moving together when it was the, rela the relationship. After two years of relationship, we got married. And to God be the glory, I had my first son, my wonderful son. Dr. Usagi. I have thanked them this morning because time is against us. It's so wonderful. It's so wonderful. So caring. Baba me a show, a show from your tight schedule. You will always call, Mommy, I'm running to a meeting. Do you need anything? Mommy, are you okay? I'll say, I'm okay. Mommy, don't worry. On your way from back from your meeting, you will come with money. You always bless me with everything. God will continue to bless you, your wife, and the children. Hmm. My Percy, because I give all of them name. My Percy. Eh? What's you? Ah. All the way from Nigeria? Ha. Ah. Oh, God. My Percy, my second son, where are you? Mr. Patrick. He's also wonderful. My husband. That one has been my husband from my womb. Also taking care of me, taking care of the family. They never let make me to be in one. I thank you. Thank you very much. My number three was an angel from God. I will never forget him. Before I was born, it was predicted that God was sending me an elder from above. I should name him Kola Wole. God sent him, actually. We gave him the name Kola Wole. He fulfilled his promise. He fulfilled his mission that God Almighty has sent him. The promise God gave me through him, he fulfilled everything, and God called him back. I thank God. Wherever you are, wherever your spirit is, I say a very big thank you, sir. The angel of the Almighty God. After having these three sons, I raised my head, put my hands to God. I said, God, I just need a little girl. 
so that I will be making her hair beautiful because I love beautiful things. Not knowing that God will be sending her to come and take care of me. God always hear my prayers. God sent her to me. Today she's a big boy in Lonia. She's taking very, very good care of me. When I had the 10 hour surgery, she put me in her bedroom. Taking very, very good care of me. I want to see you know I told you. Moti do well or boboni la ro. Mokbe yi sile me and mo diti mokbe yi. Mo de dupe. I called all of them this morning to my house. They didn't know the reason why I was calling them yesterday. They all arrived and I thanked them and I will continue to thank all of them. I thank everybody here. I just don't know where to start. Ah, Chief Mrs. Mustafa, Mommy, Edide, Mommy, Eshema. Mommy, Eshema. Mommy, Eshema. I alone, Loma Dukbe, God will reward you. God will reward you. Eshema. I thank all members of Eco Club SARS, Eco Club SARS, Eco Club Mars. I say very big, big thank you, sirs. I say very big thank you, mas. I say mo dupe ko ni ba jeo. Egbe no ni ba jeo. Egbe no ni tu kao. Mo dupe lo wo gbogbo yi o. Mo dupe lo wo Nigeria. Papa. Mama Shola. Chief Mr. and Chief Mrs. Oshijo. I say very big thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. You are always there for me. Ah, e she mo dupe o. Le yi te fun mi lo mo. E tun toju emi na toju gbogbo wa. Daddy, mommy, e she mo dupe o. I thank you so so much. I thank the Ogbunie also. Ogbunie family. I say very big thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Thank you e she e she mo dupe o. And then the Shosaya. The in-laws to be. I thank you very much. Mommy, all the way from Nigeria, I have to thank them. Emma Binuma. I thank them. I thank you, Mommy. Chief Mrs. Shosoya from Nigeria. Thank you so, so much. Everybody here, I thank you, my children in Christ from Dallas, from Chicago, from Houston, all over the world. Um, I, uh, my dearest mommy is beside me. She wants to take the microphone. She doesn't want me to speak further. But I'm resisting. I will still speak. Because I have to be grateful to everybody. Germans so English. They were always with their mother's language. Uh -huh. So, I so Yoruba Thank you so, so much. Now I go to Germany. Now, mommy said I should speak German language. Now I'm going to Germany. I want to speak the German. Now I say, Vielen, vielen Dank. Ich bedanke mich alles. Freue mich, dass ihr es ihr seid. Vielen Dank, der liebe Gott schützt euch. In Gott in der Sonne, ich bin nur du, 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 I want Professor Le Professor Shebo, Tiwa Rambi, Atan Justice Abim Bola, Eshe Modupe O, Mi O Le Madaru Ko, Ni Kon Ko E Jo, I want to meet Badaru Ko, E Dari Jimmy O, E Ma Binu O, Eshe Modupe O, Thank you everybody, De Liba, Ah, Motu Ti So Jaman, Ola Wa Ba Mi Fa Bo 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 Wa O, Bo Bo Nta Fe Lo Lo Ma She O, E Ta Lo Unti She O, Ni Ba Je O, and what they to do by jaw, they get be mommy to suck pay and what to do a mocker. Oh, yeah, yeah, queer. Moko, Bobo, Mamorani. I want more Timmy or Mori. I want more Timmy or Morito, Bamito. 
Olorun to wo mi se yanu mi de se nko wo wo leni daddy nba mi gba won emi di baba won mama won daddy di papa won a ro awon mo lo si school school o lowo english speaking school private school ba se se fun awon mo ti wa la se fun won and to god be the glory some of them are in the military some of them are in the police force in their various professional fields so mo dupe lowo olorun eyin na olorun a ran yin lowo ko ma jo mo ti wa ni ko la mama toju eje ka toju awon mo lomo to ra awon mo lomo ta n toju bayi omo olorun ni won mo de tun fit wo towo dupe lowo awon family e olorun to wa nbi the akidu days i recognize this family e se sa o e se ma o en ba mi se ninu ise na But now I'm not telling you. I'm telling you about the orphans. You are helping me with them. God Almighty will help you. God will continue to uplift you. God will never leave you alone. Will be with you and your children and grandchildren and everybody. Thank you all and God bless. Before I go further, I want to recognize a very special person in our midst. Otuba Shina Martins, you surprised mommy all the way from Nigeria. Esho Gidi Gosa, thank you so much. You are welcome. Esho, thank you. Oh, Chief Mrs. Sasha, I want to do as it be. You tell her now. Thank you very much. We really love you. Uh, at this time, please, uh, Otuba Osage, I need a little help. We want mommy to cut the cake. I want daddy to support mommy to cut the cake. And uh, I want the children to be with her. I don't want her to cut the cake by herself. Look at this cake it's beautiful. It's a treasure box. She, because mommy love jewelry. She love bling bling. But it's a ring, it's a diamond ring in here. It's a 24 karat gold. Look at all this gold from Dubai. And you know look, look at the color of the gold for you. You know gold is for success. It's a wealthy color. It's a royal color. Gold is for, you know, achievements, for victory for good things and she blended a little bit with her cream which is a relaxing and calming picture color loria yeah mommy we hold it daddy your hand will be on top can i have a chair please yeah. a e s s u and s jesus congratulations for the Ladies and gentlemen, I will want the husband to please take their seat. I will want you to take your seat because it is traditional that when you are proposing somebody's toast, they should be on their seat. When I met the Osage family when they came for my daughter, I never knew that my daughter was going into a home of a person that whose uncle was a tight friend of my own father that is the late Israel Adebayo <laughs> so since that time i i knew that my daughter was going into a home of responsible people and from what all have been said today of mama i don't want to call her mommy i'm going to call her mama because she has been promoted from mommy to mama <laughs> by pato am i right okay so wonderful things have been said of you and i really want to congratulate you on those good sentiments life is all about giving 
when you sow the seed of goodness goodness and mercy follows you it is not a matter of prayer it is what you sow that you reap people who don't give wouldn't get so mama you have sowed the seed of kindness you have sowed the seed of goodness you have above all sowed the seed of mercy may mercy follow you all the days of your life so having said this much i would like to request that everybody you please get your your glasses charged and i'm going to ask all of us to please be upstanding while mama is sitting down and we are going to drink bumper to toast please can we be all upstanding with our glasses fully charged let's stand up please let's stand up let's stand up Babas, please have your seat to mrs Uluwa to Minuno Abigail or Sawenge. Fortunately, my mother too was Abigail. <laughs> I give you the toast of good health. Yes. I give you the toast of happiness. Yes. And I give you the toast of longevity yes. in everything that God has to offer. Yes. Wishing you a very happy birthday. Yes. Yes. As we end um, this phase of the ceremony, I just would like to express our deepest appreciation on behalf of my entire family, the Osewenge family. I want to say a big thank you. Thank you so much for coming out to celebrate my mom's 70th birthday. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh,